Today on All Things 80s, we're revisiting Christmas 1984. Welcome back to All Things 80s and I'm going to start out by saying the purpose of this video is to give this a bit of exposure. Now when I began doing All Things 80s back in the spring of 2019, I did a lot of vintage unboxings and reviews. However, given it was at the beginning, they didn't get many views and something like this deserves to be seen. So I'm going to revisit it now. But as I said in the intro there, revisiting Christmas 1984. So in 84 was the Christmas, I got my first ever hi-fi stereo system. I called it a music center, which was record player, tape deck, and radio combination, and a ton of vinyls. Uh, and it was a bizarre selection I got. I was a big Duran Duran fan, and they had just released the Arena album, so obviously that was number one on my list. But my parents also gave me Wham's Make It Big, and a compilation a double LP and some singles. But I did get some toys that year, one of which was this, the Dukes of Hazzard Speed Jumper. And this really was one of my favorite gifts that I ever received simply because it actually did what it said it was meant to do. And that is, it was a two speed stunt buster. And the two speed refers to the fact that the General Lee would sort of slowly drive up to the ramp and then just suddenly take off. We'll get this opened up and I'll sort of give you a bit of an explanation and of course there will be some demonstrations. So as we take a look at the contents, first thing we find is this poster. And it's not a particularly uh, nice looking poster, it's black and white, but it does show you the other items available from Knickerbocker at the time for Dukes of Hazard. Uh, Obviously this is the Speed Jumper set. It was also advertising the wrist racers and the finger racers as well as the Stunt Buster set. Now yesterday I held one of the Christmas live streams and one of the guests was Michael from Retro Blasting and we were talking about the Knight Rider Barn Buster style set. And I had mentioned that I actually have what they call the Stunt Buster set which was a slimmed down version of the Barn Busters. So we'll get to that in a moment, but it was just interesting to know that there is actually another set not featured on this poster, which was the Barn Buster set. Uh, I'm not sure if I would have put that on my wall. Um, I know that I didn't when I was a kid because I didn't have any room, but the fact it's black and white was a bit dull. Now the General Lee itself is a strange one. It looks nothing like a Dodge Charger, uh, but it's been done in a way that it can do feelies and all sorts of stunts. So screen accuracy was um, sort of put to the side and practicality was the order of the day, but it really does work. Now the ramp, there are two ramps. This is the takeoff ramp with the runway. And this runway is probably the most important part of the set. We'll get to that in a second. And this is the landing ramp and it came with some accessories. So we got a few sort of brick walls, if you like, that can be placed on the top of the ramps and the General Lee can burst through those. We have some uh, little parking cones, as you can see here, about half a dozen of those for it to smash through. And we've got a lot of flags to attach to the ramps. Now, it's advertised as being a two-speed, generally, and quite simply put, uh, there is a little lever on the bottom of the General Lee, so when you start moving the car, obviously it's a friction motor, so you get it revved up, and in the first speed, it just trundles along very slowly. However, there's a notch on the runway ramp that knocks back the lever and it just takes off. It's a pretty cool effect. So what happens is when you're set up, as we'll show in just a second, the General Lee is just trundling along very slowly and suddenly, boom, it takes off and does all these amazing stunts. And as I said earlier, uh, my main gifts in 84 were all related to music, but this one really 
brought me a great deal of joy and I just loved having it. And the fact I was able to get a brand new one and open it and experience it all two years ago was just fantastic. But as a bonus, I'll show you this somewhat rare Stunt Buster set. So as with the Speed Jumper set, we've got the exact same generally the same little lever, which means in this case, it's a much shorter lead up ramp, but it does have that very important little notch there to knock that lever back. This set was quite basic actually. The Barn Buster set had a lot more elements on this side of the barn, but in this case, the car goes in, it takes off, those doors fly open, you can knock over these barrels and little crates and things, and on the side we have a ramp that the General Lee can go up and then when it takes off it's on one wheel or two wheels, it's, it's pretty cool. Obviously not as good as the Barn Buster set, but hey, I'm happy with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at these sets in action. So, as you can see, these sets are pretty awesome, and as a 10 year old kid, I was just blown away with how cool that Speed Jumper set was, especially the fact the way the General Lee would just trundle along and then suddenly take off, absolutely amazing. And ironically, playing with them now on a smooth floor was not as good as playing with them on carpet, because at least with carpet, everything would stay in place, and the fact that the speed came from the lever being flicked whilst on the ramp meant having a carpet was not a disadvantage. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure as hell did. So thank you all for watching. Special thanks goes out to the patrons. Please like, please subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.